Hi there, I'm Joseph Van Kiept. I'm a developer with VT SCADA, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about the layers panel that we have in the Idea Studio. The Idea Studio is our ribbon based environment for editing pages and widgets in VT SCADA. And one thing that I'm going to work with today is over on the right hand side, when you have more than one item selected, you'll see that we get this layers selector open. And I'm going to show you how to make use of this and actually build a meter using the layers selector. So in VT SCADA, we do have a bunch of built-in meters. Uh, my favorite is actually the pressure meter. And these meters are ready to go right out of the box. But if you needed something a little bit more custom, I'm going to show you how to build one from scratch. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my tools section. I'm going to grab some meter parts and I'm just going to start throwing them on the page. Doesn't matter if I get these exactly right where they should be, I'm gonna use my alignment tools to get them where I need them in a moment. And make a circle as well. And that should be enough to get things started. With everything selected, you can see my layer selector actually shows up on the right hand side. I'm going to use this now. Uh, actually, first I'm gonna align everything so that they're on top of one another. midpoints and then I'm going to match the size so that my circle is the same size as everything else. Now you'll notice that my circle is actually on top of everything else and that's not where I want it. I want the circle to be my background. So I'm going to come into my layer selector and I'm just going to move it down into the bottom. Now you can see everything kind of popped up and it's starting to look a little bit like a meter. So with everything selected again, I'm going to highlight my radio legend. That's the uh, the numbers that you see on the screen there. One thing that we can do from the layers panel is we can select something and say select only. So now that's the only thing selected so I can actually resize that a little bit, make it smaller so that it pops up where I want it to be. And that's looking pretty good right there. Now again, I've got everything selected, so my layer selector came back up. I'm going to now right click on my radial scale, which are the tick marks. And I can actually hit the properties of it right there. Rather than having to click and click and hope that I'm getting the right thing, we're now able to ensure that we have the right thing selected just by right clicking it over in the layer selector. I'm going to change my number of major divisions to 10 and minor divisions to five, just because I like the way that looks. I'm also going to change my colors to be white. Now you're seeing things are starting to really take shape here. I'm liking my circle in the background, but I'm not quite liking the, the color that it has to it. So I'm going to right click and properties on my circle, my ellipse. I'm going to change the outline to none because we don't really need an outline on it. And my fill color, I'm going to pick something that's a nice shade of blue. All right, from there, my radio legend, I'm now seeing that that black text is looking a little bit out of place. So I'm going to hit the properties on that. And from there, I should be able to change my color. I'll change that to white as well. And for the number of labels, I'm actually going to bump this up to 11. That'll give me one of every one of my major tick marks. Right there, we have something that's really starting to resemble a nice little meter. Again, I could select through and click on these items one by one, just try to guess what layer I'm on. And say, okay, that's the one that I wanted to select and get the properties for that. But it is so much easier to just, from the layer selector, to be able to right click and select properties there. Right now, I'm just gonna change my 
meters little uh, indicator. Oh, widget parts, yeah. Now this one actually has an offset on it, so I'm actually going to change my offset until it looks like it's in the center. I'm going to do some advanced changing on this because I like a nice little red indicator. So I'm going to change my hue until it matches the red I like. All that and we're done for the, uh, the most part of things. We just want to put some dress up on it. You can go to meter parts in our images. I'm going to put some glass on it. Something that looks fancy. And maybe a nice little bezel just to finish things off. Feeling a little bit blingy today, so I'm going for the gold bezel. And there you go, you've got something that on screen is actually going to look like a nice little meter. It's just a matter of from this point, you'd probably want to group and create a new widget with everything. And that is a quick overview of the layer selector. So now, Hopefully you'll be able to use it and create some really cool looking widgets.